is the official one so click on that and here the link for download is given so click on that now you need to accept the terms and conditions and click on download now as you can see the download box is here and you just need to click on start download to continue downloading but I already downloaded one file to save some time as it is a pretty big file so I'll open that and pause this first now click on the exe file and wait for the setup to pop up click on yes as you can see the install wizard is here now I'll guide you through the procedure of installation click on next again next now you need to select the directory where you want to keep the android studio and I'll show only do one it is all based upon your choice if you want to keep it in the local disk or somewhere else and just uh, don't forget to type the name and what should be after that now continue and click on install this might take uh, some time depending upon your PC so I'll catch you guys when it is completed so we have successfully completed phase 1 of the installation now again click on next and click on finish for the next step make sure you are connected to the internet and it is working fine because you have to download some of the files from the internet that would be including the software development kit so uh, if you already have some files that you want to import then you can click on this option otherwise leave it as do not import settings now click on ok it will take some time depending upon the internet speeds now the phase 2 has been completed successfully now click on next to continue with the installation click on standard and continue next now if you want to install the annual android package then click on the android virtual device otherwise leave it as default now click on next and uh, click on finish that was the list of the content that uh, it would download and it would take some time depending upon the speeds of internet that you have and the type of internet so i'll catch you guys when the download is complete for the next phase of installation so now as you can see we have completed the last phase of installation 2 now just click on finish so that was all about the installation now we would learn how to create a new android studio project so click on it so now provide an application name for your project and it could be anything that you want I'm just leaving it as default and click on next now you have to select the minimum SDK requirement that you would want in your Android app if you select the lowest that is ice cream sandwich then it would easily run on the highest version of Android available that is Oreo but if you select Oreo or any other then it would not run on the ice cream sandwich as it is a lower version so that is based upon your choice which one you want to select now click on next and now you would have to select an activity based on your choice I would go for a basic activity for just a demo project click on next now you would have to name the activity that would also be anything now click on finish now it would take some time depending upon your PC so you would you would have to keep it as uh, the way it is now as you can see the license agreement is here and you just need to accept that and click on next and now it would download the missing components one thing good about Android Studio is that if some error occurs like this one then it will automatically handle that and you just need to follow a procedure like of downloading this so you don't need to worry about anything else so just uh, continue the download and uh, i'll see you when the download is complete
so now as you can see the procedure has completed so click on finish still some things are missing so we would have to deal with these errors also as you can see we have dealt with all the errors so now we would just change the text over here to see whether it works or not okay take an example of hello sudhi enter now we would run the project run app and create a new virtual device we would look for or maybe use the existing one click ok it is asking for intel exam so just continue with the procedure and use the recommended size click on next it will take some time and after that we would be able to run the project just click on yes Now the Android emulator is starting and it would take some time depending upon the PC speed. You just need to wait for it to get started. These are the options by which you could control the device just like any other smartphone. So now Android is starting and you just need to find your application. Here it is. And now you could see how your application would look on a device. And it is looking just the way that you made it right now. So that was all about the installation and running our first project. If you guys like the video, please drop a like. And if you have any doubts, you could ask me in the comment section below. So. With that, I would take your leave and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.